Welcome back to Studio 701. Being a parent is the most rewarding job on the planet, but let's be real, it's also very hard work. I know I hear it from Amber, but in today's parent panel, we ask our favorite moms about competition. If they are in sports or soccer or anything, you know, how do you, how do you deal with that as a parent, teaching them about competition? I guess it's hard. Like, my husband's a competitor through and through. Like, to quote Ricky Bobby, if you're not first, you're last, you know, <laughs> like, I mean, that's just his mindset kind of thing. And me, I'm very much like, it's about the experience and the having fun. Like you feel like you gave it your all kind of thing. Um, so for Landry, he's into BMX and, you know, I mean, he's decent. He's not rock star quality or anything, but he has fun and he works hard. So you know, when he does place or whatever, I'm always trying to talk to him about like, well, do you feel like you did a great job? Like, did you have more that you could have given? Um, you know, congratulate the other people, even if you didn't lose and just really reiterating to the fact like, there's always going to be someone better than you um, out there and that's fine. It helps you to make yourself perform better. Um, Cause he's just not super like aggressive, competitive. Um, now the younger one probably is going to be <laughs> that way just because his disposition is more like his dad's and, um, you know, like no one's going to beat me at anything sort of deal. So just trying to be gracious and winning and defeat mm -hmm. and just to have fun. I think that's so important. Yeah. Um, <laughs> so I think this is a first child thing. Um, but Preston wants to win all the time, you know? And so not necessarily about sports, but just like playing games or like totaling points and the games that him and Carter are making up. And I'm just like, buddy, your brother's younger than you. You have to, you know, let him win sometimes, you know, like, and, and it's more, it's about like, we taught, like kind of what Mariah was saying, it's, it's not about winning or losing. It's about playing and having fun. And same thing with like board games like if you're in a pout because you lose we're not playing anymore you know like it's it's kind of like either you play and have fun just regardless if you win or you lose or we're not gonna play <laughs> nobody wants to play with a sore loser and so kind of talking about that kind of stuff um you know a lot of it right now is just like hey, practice makes perfect like let's play like let's just play catch to see like let's hone in on those skills, you know, so it's more of that kind of stuff right now, but, you know, shake hands, like, see, like, after board games, my little boys are, like, shaking each other's hands, you know, so it's just kind of fun. Uh, Archer is a lot like his mom, and that means extremely competitive, <laughs> uh, very type A, very committed to whatever it is that uh, is is the task at hand. And so when you play hard, you can sometimes lose hard. Mm -hmm. And so I have seen myself reflected <laughs> in Archer and I'm like, ooh, oh, oh. Uh, that's rough. Um, but it's, I, I know the just seeing kind of the, the culture that our kids are growing up in today where you can, I mean, they're out of the womb and you could have them in basketball. It's this this question of, yeah, how is, when when do we start these things and how do we maintain a healthy balance of it? And we actually, we had just said until Archer was, at least five years old we weren't going to do any activities or anything like that and so we actually signed him up last february so february 2020 we signed him up for basketball well then covid you know plans changed and uh then we put everything on hold so he's just kind of starting to do some of those competitive things now um but we when we play board games at home and he's not on the winning side it's rough and so we're and what we, we try to coach him in is just a lot of the things that mariah and and sarah said that you you have to have a positive attitude and, and if you give it a hundred percent and you don't win like if you don't get all the little houses in monopoly it's okay you're still okay your identity is not found in how many houses you have in monopoly dude um so it's just already kind of coaching him to just see that if 
if you played and you had fun, that's good. But whatever the score is or whoever has the most pieces at the end of the game, that's that's not your worth. That's not your value. Uh, so those are the things that I'm just starting to even hear come out of my own mouth when I watch him uh, either win or lose. Some great advice right there. This has been Parent Panel. I love hearing their stories and relating to them. I can picture just